Spoils as Accra Hearts of Oak got us underway in this game and quickly they got into attack. But for West Africa Football Academy, every opportunity they got, they would send one into the 18 yard box that time around. It was Richard Atta's reflexes that saved the day. Fatal Mohamed also came in with a few crosses dealt with by the defense of Wafa. And the pendulum swung to and fro, causing no havoc to both sides. Again, some dexterity on the part of the midfield players as they came forward. At this time around, that long ball in from uh, Ransford could not do any damage. They still kept coming forward, trying to create the spaces. And on that occasion, they had to take the quick reflex of Richard Atta to save the day for Accra Hearts of Oak. They did not let it there, but they still kept probing and probing Accra Hearts of Oak with Kofi Koji, the mentor up front. And on this occasion, he managed to get a goal through the legs of Ose Kwejo Boateng. So Accra, great Olymp uh, I beg your pardon, Accra Hearts of Oak ended the first half with their noses in front, went into the dressing room looking hale and hearty. That goal was scored by bulky Kofi Koji. But for West Africa Football Academy, they still came up with uh, options and they got back into the game through number 10, Samson Ajipong, with a careful pass from Justus Tosuche, who got his foot in there and they buried it on the blind side of a wretched attack. Just could not react to that. And that put Wafa forward. Inoke Subonting also came up with a few opportunities of his own. This time, he blasted wide. They still kept probing. The likes of James Sewonu also created opportunities for Accra Hearts of Oak. But it came to naught as both sides huffed and passed.